a very nice, basically light new North Trail late model. Just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, this has a lot of really fun features and upgrades. First and foremost, this is one of Heartland's um, you know, primary ultralight lines, so your, your weight on this is going to be very easily manageable. Um, the uh, extra features you see, like the, the power tongue jack, we're going to have slam latch baggage doors. We also have four corner power stabilizer jack. So pretty much everything is about as simple as it can get. And while I'm down here, it is worth showing you, we do have a fully enclosed underbelly in here. So that will help uh, in several ways. One, it'll help it slipstream down the road a little bit. Um, it'll help keep critters out. There's a lot of benefits to that underbelly enclosure. Um, one of the ways they keep the weight down on the north trails is they use a cable slide system very much like the the passports from keystone we carry and in fact this is very much heartland's version of the keystone passport um heartland recognized the success of the passport line years ago and uh, they decided to take their hand at it and they both have some very cool features that make them unique but um, very comparable to one another one of the cool things heartland's really big on is the uh, bike rack bumper back here this is an extra option you can put on from the factory that was equipped on this trailer. And you see that the bumper itself slides right out. Now uh, the uh, post right here goes into that slot and creates a bike rack basically, or it's a light duty cargo tray. The other use I found for it as a, you know, a guy who used to like to go make mud pies when I was camping as a little kid, now a new father, is the outside shower is right here next to this so this could kind of be you know a little arts and crafts or play table outside even fish skin and table and uh, right there is your hose and you can rinse everything down um, I can see nowhere where there have been any sort of leaks or failures or anything wrong with this coach it looks like it's a very nice setup and of course aluminum wheels not you know they won't rust like steel wheels and everyone knows that you know shiny makes it faster <laughs> step inside for you real quick here if you hear some chirping, the uh, CO detector is going off just because we have a low battery situation on the coach right now. Now what we're looking at from here all the way to here is the slide out. So it is a super slide, but you see it's a refrigerator sofa closet super slide, which is an interesting combination, but it's actually a very uh, functional setup that gives us some excellent room and space in this floor plan where normally we would have none. And I. I love the slide fascia in here. It just looks fantastic. The, in general, the entire interior has so much of this three-dimensional aspect going on that it there's just not a whole lot else like it out there. Now you see right here uh, your primary seating spaces. They are still in fantastic shape. Things are not worn out, chewed up, scarred up, dug up from animals and kids. This is a, a uh, used RV in very good shape. Now, I, I want to point out all of the storage in here is absolutely spectacular. Storage in lightweights is harder to come by than just about anything else. Let me see if I can move out of the way and get you some light in here. You see how deep that is? To give you an idea, it is that deep. The size of this wall panel is how deep this closet is. You can never get enough storage in any RV, but they are sure trying right here. Now, as if that wasn't enough. Back here, right across from the bathroom, we have another closet that size. Again, I apologize for the uh, CO detector there. But you see, eh, it's a little dark here. I apologize. Let me try to open this door and get you some light. Sorry for wiggling the camera around here. You can see that we have another hanging wardrobe closet here with a uh, his and hers dresser space right below that. And this is all in addition to the normal storage that you have up here in the bedroom. And you see that they are giving you some pretty deep, serious cabinets up here rather than just a shelf. Uh, so, I mean, just to give you an idea of how deep this is, it goes up basically to a grown man's bicep. That's extremely deep storage. And you're not looking at curtains in here. You do have a, a full sliding privacy door. So mom and dad can enjoy a private bed space up front. Another extremely nice touch I found in here was the bathroom. This was extremely well designed with a lot of customer feedback included. We do have a porcelain foot flush stool instead of a plastic. And we also have a glass enclosed shower, not a tub. You don't have that big step into the shower here. And they even included a linen cabinet here 
something so few lightweight trailers or even non-lightweight trailers in uh, you know even a luxury level of this floor plan simply do not offer. And of course, the place you spend uh, a vast majority of your time, the living space, is very open, comfortable, very modern too. There's a lot of super cool touches. One of the things I really, really, really liked about this one was the, the big window back here in the kitchen. That's an awesome spot for it. And you notice we even have the upgraded countertops in this kitchen. We do have full solid surface countertops in here. Uh, things you don't typically find at this price point or on this level of product. Big giant pantry right next to the entry door right when you walk in as if this didn't have enough storage. They're going to add even more for you here. And we have three of these big pull-out drawers mounted right here. Very convenient spot. What I thought is that bottom one would be perfect for like your flashlights and stuff like that you might use outside. More storage cabinetry right here. Again, right next to the entry door and right in the kitchen. All of it is very, uh, you know, good size, deep size. You could put, you know, cereal boxes in there sideways if you had to. And the smallest things are the most important to me. A little shoe garage is one of the best things I could have thought about in this floor plan. If uh, you've ever been camping like me, you know that all the shoes end up in this big, ugly, you know, hazardous pile by the door just begging for someone to trip and fall out of the trailer. I know a few people that has happened to, so that's not just hypothetical. A couple things here. If you notice underneath, your table is freestanding. It does lock to the wall, so don't panic that that leg right there has bent inward a little bit. Um, and I noticed down here, they still have all their original owner's manuals. That's, that's a big indicator for me. People that keep track of things like their manuals tend to keep good care of their trailers. And that, again, seems to be the case here. We do have central air in this model, which is nice because we do have kind of a, a little more of a private front bed and bath so we can keep cool in every area of the coach. You see the TVs included here. And they even added this handy little, uh, you know, area fan that you can sort of angle around. That's that's a cool item. I'm, I might have to look at putting that in something that we have out here. Um, and just the little, you know, stained glass accents that you see right here. I love little touches like that. Even your cabinetry here, we're looking at hidden hinge cabinetry, not uh, normal cheap uh, piano hinge cabinetry that you find in a camper. I mean, all in all, this is a very impressive used RV. Uh, I would, uh, I'd expect this not to last too awful long. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and happy camping.